Welcome to Out of the Woodwork. I'm gonna show you how I built these, what I'm calling mudroom cabinet benches that have got a nice cherry top for seating and then plenty of storage underneath. This bench needs at least a couple of different functions. First, it needs storage underneath, and then the top needs to be comfortable enough to sit on, but also strong enough to stand on. I've got everything cut to size for the most part based on the layout that comes in my free plan. If you'd like that, the link is down in the description. Now I need to cut the dados and the rabbits in these top and bottom pieces, and I like to do that with my router and an undersized straight bit that's made for plywood. This three quarter inch plywood I'm using is actually 23 30 seconds, just under three quarters, and this bit is undersized and we'll cut that in one pass. To cut these dados, I've got the top and bottom butted up against each other here and clamped down. Now the reason I'm doing this is because we've got dados on each side that need to be perfectly parallel and lined up with each other. Now this is a great way to cut these in one pass across the bottom and the top so that if any angle is introduced or error, that those will still be parallel and they'll still be in line. When I glued this up, I used screws as clamping pressure and to add mechanical strength. But the screws on the end will show, so I used a half inch Forstner bit to drill a hole that this dowel fits into perfectly. Now I can make plugs for all of these holes and once it's painted, you'll never even be able to tell the screws are there. The cabinet carcass is finished and all it needs is feet, but before I add those, I'm gonna go ahead and glue up the top and let it be drying. And I like to cut the two outside pieces a little bit wider so that once this is glued up and all sanded down, I can run it back through the table saw and trim it up and get a nice clean edge.
I finished milling up these face frame pieces. Now I just need to cut the vertical pieces to length and I'll be ready to glue this up. Now they're half an inch thick by three quarters of an inch wide and I made them wider than the plywood on purpose so that I can line them up flush with the inside edges and then that means they hang over on the outside edges and I can take my router and trim those flush. I'm using these six inch feet I found at the home center. Now I only want the bottom part of this, but the reason I bought this one is because most feet that you find have a screw in them and I don't want to use that. So I want to be able to cut off the section that has that screw. And also these are pretty affordable. They're a lot more affordable than a lot of them you'll find. One more thing that's really important is that I'm putting a pair of feet on each end, but also a pair in the middle. And I don't ever want the middle to be higher than the outside. So I'm going to cut those feet just a little bit shorter than the outside feet. That way it'll never high center and rock back and forth, but it'll still give support in the middle. To attach the bench top, I'm going to drive three screws per section through the cabinet top. Now because of the way the top is situated, it's going to move this way with the seasons across its grain. So the middle screw in each section will go just straight into the top, but the front and back ones will be in slots so that they can move forward or backwards depending on the season. I finished building the bench, now it's time to start thinking about the finish. Now you can do about anything you wanted to at this point, but the client I'm building this bench for wants a natural cherry top and a painted base cabinet. So I'll spray the top with several coats of oil-based polyurethane and then start on the bottom by spraying primer to keep the wood tannins from showing through eventually. And then it's getting painted black and then I'll probably put a water-based polyurethane on top of that. Make sure you go get the land. The link is down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.